will explain to you whether your tape recorder is DC bias or, or AC bias and will be explained to you by Ricardito, a friend of Evans. Tape recorders. They've been in our lives for years upon years. But in recordings, some are recorded with better quality than others. Some add background noise while others don't. Some are AC bias and some are DC bias. What kind of tape recorder do you have? Do you want to find out? You can watch this informative video, which will show you how to find out what kind of biasing is used in your tape recorder. I hope you enjoy this video about finding out what's your bias. About bias. There are two types. This is excluding talking about high bias and metal bias, you know, chrome stuff. This is actual biasing when you tape record. Two types. DC bias. Uses a direct current to bias. Um, DC bias is not as high quality as AC bias. Um, it's DC bias is a lot more simpler as it will just um, go in one direction, you know, and will record that way. You, you know, stir up the magnetic particles to get recorded, but it tends to resort, re distort on S's and make it sound like and add background noise like sound of the recording. Then there's AC bias. Use this. AC bias uses a high frequency AC signal. A signal is above the human hearing range of hearing. And it, the AC bias going in both directions will magnetize the particles when recording in a good way where it won't distort and it will sound a lot better. The S's don't, um, don't tend to do that. There are a few AC bias out there that does it to a certain extent, but not bad, like DC bias. And, um, and doesn't add background noise or, or not as much background noise as DC bias or quality. Got two recorders. This one here being DC bias and this one here being AC bias. And we're going to compare the qualities between the two. I'll be using this microphone for each recorder. Not for the AC bias. Okay, this is the Panasonic RQ 309DS, which is an alternating current AC bias demonstration of how the quality of this AC bias machine is. Now for the DC bias model. Okay. Um, this is quality with this Reader's Digest, which is actually technically made by Panasonic, which is a DC bias model, to see how it works with direct current DC bias on recording. Okay? Another DC bias machine has its way. This is another recording with another DC bias model, also with an external microphone. Now the internal microphone, which also takes pretty bad ways in the DC bias characteristics of distorting on the letter S with the DC bias way. You notice how much all the had background noise too, the S's, and really distort. 
AC bias. Now it's realistic cassette recorder, which is an AC bias model, with the use of an external microphone now. And now, switch to an internal microphone on this realistic model, which is alternating current AC bias way. As you can hear how the AC bias system doesn't distort, how, how it sounds a lot better, and how it, you know, doesn't have all that added background noise. Now let's take the, to a look at if you really want to know DC bias and AC bias. And next step. To record while you fast forward is an excellent way to find out for sure whether it's AC bias or DC bias without taking apart your machine. This works great best for the one who's with Q and EP. Put in Q and we are recording. Now I'm fast forwarding on this realistic while I'm recording, and let's see how it will be. Record. The reason why I heard that loud sound was actually the bias signal. The tape was going so fast, it was able to record the bias signal when you play it at a normal speed. At the slow speed, you hear the bias. That's the AC bias signal recorded. You fast forward it. Recorded this DC bias model, and I'm now fast forwarding recording with this DC bias model, and let's see how it is. Recorded this DC bias model, and. Let me tell you first off, you heard the bias sound, but that was because that was a previous recording that was on the realistic, was not fully erased at the start. But then you notice, you notice that just that hiss sound just come in, that noise that just came in, that's because of the DC bias. And then that's my voice, that very low sound you heard like a monster. But let me just tell you again, it doesn't add the bias noise. Fast forward, it's recording with this bias model. And let's see how it is. So a good example of how DC bias adds background noise. Let me show you a good example of how DC bias adds background noise. A coil like this, found inside a cassette recorder, um, lets you know that it's going to be AC bias. Now don't be confused because if it's a one with the built-in radio, a radio will have a lot of these in the radio section. But in the tape recorder section or just a plain tape recorder, if you find a coil like this, there's a sure fire that it's going to be AC bias. Taking a look inside this 1969 tape recorder, we'll see for sure what kind of bias it is. Not all bias coils are in the metal can way like I showed you before. Some of them will be gray and coiled wrapped in, I believe, a ferrite thing. Right there is the, what the screwdriver is pointing at is the bias coil. Looks similar to a capacitor on the outside, round and gray. And you can look at a little hole in it. Black, I believe, ferrite core. Take a look inside this General Electric recorder from the 80s. As we look on the circuit board, to see if there's an AC bias oscillator, we find, we look for either of those kind of coils, the metal can type or the gray type, and we don't find either. It shows for sure it's a DC bias model. Well, I hope you enjoyed my little instructional video on finding out the bias of your tape recorder. See you on my other videos. Technically, actually, I won't see you on my other videos, but you'll see me.